Hi, my name is Esperanza Cortez. I am a multidisciplinary artist from New York City. I am showing at Jonathan Ferreira Gallery. The name of the exhibition is Arrested Symphony. I chose that title because I feel that so much of what happened in this part of the world had to do with the invasion of Europeans to non-European land, the effect that it had on first the indigenous communities and also then later the African communities. And pretty much the same history has occurred all over this part of the world whether it's North America, Central America, the Caribbean, or South America. So the drawings are the precursors to the sculptures and the pieces that you see around you. Sometimes it's just really comfortable in my studio to take a really delicate little pen and begin working. I develop the idea quickly and then I add beads or embroidery or paint. It's a way that I can develop the idea quickly and then move on to the sculptures, because the sculptures take a lot longer. So there is a piece that has the same name as the exhibition, Arrested Symphony, which is right behind me. It's the large painting, which has a wing and chains hanging. It's actually a relief because of the fact that it has a sculptural element that's added to the painting. The wing is made from clay, and on the clay are attached the chains. The, the wing representing freedom, the chains representing the pulling down, the taking away of freedom. I feel it's a perfect representation for the history of Native and African people in this part of the world. So this is Suspended Thoughts, which I started in 1997. It took me a good 10 years to finish. It is made out of beaded rope, which I crocheted myself. It has easily 100 chains hanging from it and even more amulets from all over the world. The piece is about beliefs, religious or spiritual beliefs, and how people use that as a means of conflict and often to gain material power or land or resources. I mean, in Latin America, religion was used to outlaw pretty much everything that the indigenous people did, but it was a way of disempowering them. And so then I have to question, if we are truly spiritual people, how could we condone the death, the stealing, and the pillaging of other places? So these hearts are part of a series that I've been making for some years now. I was at the art fair in Miami. I got a call from my daughter. She could not speak. I panicked. It turned out that her friend's younger brother had been killed. I had known him since he was a little tiny child. He had been with that first group that went in to take down Osama bin Laden. And so I created the silver heart. That was immediately my reaction to the death of Nicholas. And then this is purple heart. This is a series that I'm going going to continue. I have other hearts also. I'm so happy to be showing here. It's been beautiful working with Matthew, uh, the director, uh, to get to know Jonathan, who is the owner of the gallery, and Amanda. Uh, it has been a beautiful pleasure and I love New Orleans and I feel at home here.